Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Salvations Elite and we are back with another video guys and today man We're talking about pro player secrets to no recoil and how to get better at this game tips and tricks for Call of Duty Modern Warfare it just came out. It's the morning after launch the stream last night went actually really really well it Took forever to freaking connect to the servers obviously but after that it went pretty great and we'll be streaming again tonight So we'll make sure to tune out for that. It's on Twitch TV Salvations Elite little plug there And then also before we get into the video real quick I'd love to feature you guys in these videos. So if you guys want to tweet me any clips Competitively, pubs, whatever it is, a fantastic any clip that you think is worthy of being shared, share it with me on Twitter. So I'd love to feature you guys in the video. So without further ado, let's just get into the tips and tricks. So there's a handful of things that are really important when controlling recoil and getting better at aiming and winning more gunfights. And first of all, the first thing is sensitivity. I mean, here's another plug. We just I posted a full video about the sensitivities in Modern Warfare, the pro player sensitivities in Modern Warfare. So my last video literally was the best pro player sensitivities. I would highly recommend you just go check out that video. Um, just posted that one yesterday, so go check that one out. But that's like the first thing. And it's incredibly important to be very comfortable with your sensitivity. And the beginning of the game, the first few days of the game is when you're really trying to figure that out. Decide on one to stick with the rest of Modern Warfare. With that already figured out, we move on to like the second most obvious thing, which is getting used to your gun's recoils. This is obviously the most basic of recoil control tips, which is why we're putting it at the beginning here. So pros and great players will get very comfortable with their weapons recoils right off the rip. A lot of pros shoot bots like for the first maybe half hour of the game or hour of the game to figure out some of the, the recoil patterns for some of the guns or they play for a little bit figure out the guns they like and then go and figure out recoil patterns getting warmed up getting a feel for the recoil shooting the walls getting a feel for some of the guns like the mp7 the m4 the mp5 because they're gonna be some of the most used guns early on in modern warfare if you've watched any good tips video on how to improve your aim in the past they've talked about centering because centering is truly the most important way to improve your recoil like a lot of people just think Oh, well, if I control my analog sticks, if I just hold down on the analog stick and control the recoil like that, then I'm going to have good aim, which is part of it, obviously. And we're going to talk about that in a second. This is the most important aspect. It comes to centering. So let's hop into a game real quick so I can show you guys. So as you guys can see here from the recoil pattern for the MP7, it, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, look at that recoil, you know? It's very controllable, which is why a lot of the pros are liking it right now because it has a pretty predictable recoil and something that's, like, not too hard to control. And uh, I just have to do a little a lobby here on the docks like 2v2 map with some bots But when it comes to centering and anticipation, this is what's so important So the definition of centering is basically keeping your gun pointed at a level where guys will likely be or guys will likely be coming and What I mean by that is instead of keeping your gun like low like this when you're running or like, you know Something like this you keep your gun up a little bit higher at eye level or chest level where you're gonna be shooting hostiles because if you're running around a corner and you're caught like this it's gonna be a lot harder to snap on that guy who's running into the building. But if you had your if you had your gun up like this and prepared to shoot, then he's right at eye level. You can pop him quickly. And it immediately makes your aim feel ten times better than it was before, which is why it's incredibly important. So but it definitely takes a lot of like focus mentally to start doing it at the beginning. And I definitely wasn't good at it in the past. You know, I get caught with my gun low, it wasn't great. So you gotta get used to keeping it up high, keeping it up at eye level. And in this game where headshots are so important. Once you get used to know the maps, it becomes a lot easier. So you're running through here with your gun pointed at the door, and then you run through and you get your gun pointed at the stairs, you know, because that's where guys are most likely going to be. Unless, of course, you know that there's somebody like at the back of the docks here. Then, of course, you point your gun there. But again, I'm just trying to emphasize the importance of centering, and it's something that I think that any player can continue to work on and get better at, and especially in a new game when you're trying to pay attention to these new maps and get used to them. Centering can change how you play the game, and it can make you so much better. So that's why <laughs> I emphasize it so much like I am. And it just truly is that important. So then, of course, when it comes to the other aspects of gun skill, like controlling your recoil, which is basically the other most important aspect of gun skill. Again, of course, the cop-out answer is that it comes with a lot of practice, and you're going to get better at it as the game goes on. But, of course, what's really important is practicing with a purpose. Practice with a purpose. You know, you have to tell yourself, okay, I'm getting better today at centering. Today, I'm getting better at controlling my recoil. So when you're playing the game, you're really focusing on the MP7's recoil and how it bounces and, and where you're struggling with that recoil. The better you get at being more aware while playing, the quicker you're going to improve. And this is something that I've really, really tried to focus on the past few months, past year. And I saw my biggest improvement from the beginning of Black Ops 4 to the end of Black Ops 4. So I really hope this helps you as well. So with this said, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm trying to keep this as straightforward and to the point as possible to truly help you get better at the game and improve your recoil. So hopefully now you get why it looks like pros have no recoil. All right, guys. And actually, I'm going to be coming out with a video in a few days about how to practice like a pro. And I'm going to talk about some methods that pros use to get better and improve in the game and how they go about that. So if you guys 
guys are interested in that if you guys aren't watching this in the first day or two after this video comes out which which i don't know why you would be watching it the first two days after it comes out but now anyway if, if you guys want to check that out it'll be out in a few days probably on sunday afternoon or sunday night so uh, be on the lookout for that. So again, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Share it if you guys really enjoy it. I really, really do appreciate it. But as always, guys, I'm your boy, Salvation Lee, and we'll see you next time. I'm out.